Okay, in this particular playlist we're going to be looking at speed, distance and time problems. Now I will write the full problem into the description below, but essentially we've got the Sun and the Earth and it tells us it takes uh, 1.08 times 10 to the power of 9 kilometres per hour. So in other words, the speed to get light from there to there is that. And also it takes 8 minutes and 15 seconds. They want us to use that information to calculate the distance. Okay, so the difficulty we've got here is you'll notice this is ours and they've given us 8 minutes and 15 seconds. So the first thing we've got to do is convert this into parts of an hour. So I'm going to convert it to parts of a minute first, which is 8 and 15 out of 60. Now, um, what I've said is that that 15 seconds is 15 out of a group of 60. So we can change that to 8.25 minutes. Okay, then the next thing we need to do is at least convert that 8.25 into hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to 8.25 out of a group of 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour. And if I use my calculator to do that, I'm actually using a calculator on this particular one just because it takes a little bit of time to, to calculate through, but that's going to give me 0 0.1375 hours. Okay, so now we've actually got the same units to be using. Okay, and then it's just a case of using the speed, distance and time. And you'll remember that speed equals distance divided by time. So actually, if we want to work out the distance, we've got speed and we've got time, we're going to multiply those together. So the distance is going to be the speed, which is 1.08 times 10 to the power of 9. Okay, and now we've got the time in hours, we just simply multiply through by 0.1375. And that's going to give us a distance if I multiply that out by 1.08 times 10 to the power of 9. That's going to give me a total amount of, gosh, 1485000. Kilometers. Okay, um, I think they do actually ask us in the questions put that into standard form. So I'm going to count the number of zeros is one, two, three, four, five, and then the number of decimal places six, seven, eight. So that's 1.485 times 10 to the power of eight kilometers. And that will answer this particular question. Okay, so there's quite a lot of working out on these type of things, but the main thing is you've got to make sure you work with the same units. Um, and sometimes you need to do a little bit of changing around to make sure those units are the same. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. There are some other examples within the rest of this playlist. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.